Good morning, Gray LA Trobe. From the WCAT TV studio, I'm Tyler Nelson alongside Delaney Moroy. Coming up in today's show, FBLA is hosting a root beer float sale. There is a free prom dress program, and the forensic team is headed to the state competition. All this and more on your WCAT TV news. Muafa Theta will be collecting food drive donations throughout the week. Each item is one vote to pie a teacher of your choosing in the face. Please take your donation to Miss Doyle's room C212 now through Friday. FBLA is hosting a root beer float sale this Thursday and Friday in the Commons during Lunch and Learn. Stop by for a delicious treat. This is the last week for Penny Wars. So far, we have raised over $800 to donate in honor of Mr. Ferrara. We hope to reach 1000 by the end of the competition. Thank you everyone for your participation so far. Any student who took Interior Design 1 in the fall and who would be interested in attending a field trip to tour Falling Water Kentuck Knob should see Miss Cost in F202 as soon as possible. Did you know that a large percentage of blood used in the United States comes from high school and college students? Every two seconds, someone needs blood in our country, and three lives are saved every donation of blood. Blood donated in our own community saves up to 100 surrounding hospitals. Sign up in the Senior High Nurse's Office with Mrs. Zeta to participate in this year's blood drive, which will be held on Friday, March 24th in the Ox Gym. All students must be registered with Mrs. Zeta by March 21st to donate. No walk-ins will be permitted on the day of the drive. Simply Pink's free prom dress project is taking place this week. Dresses are available to anyone in need. Call Gina to reserve a date and time at 412-537-1547. Let's get a check on the weather. We go to Gianna Lewis for your three-day forecast. Good morning, Wildcats. Today we have a high of 41 and a low of 23 with sunny skies. Tomorrow we have a high of 55 and a low of 27 with cloudy skies. And lastly, on Friday, we have a high of 56 and a low of 44 with an 80% chance of rain. That's your three-day forecast. Thanks and back to you. Thanks, Gianna. Any current sophomore or junior interested in taking CATS Custom next year should pick up a course application outside C101, F202, or the guidance office. Students should bring the completed application with them when they go to schedule and give it to their guidance counselor. This includes students who are currently enrolled in the class and plan to take it again next year. See Ms. Butler or Ms. Cost with questions. Good luck to the following members of the forensics team who will be competing in the PA High School Speech League State Tournament this weekend held at Bloomsburg University. Riley Bachman, Poetry. Haley Bruno, Senate Debate. Riley Mears, House Debate. Carly Clark, Original Oratory. Lonnie Brown, Impromptu Speaking. And Brooks Conway, Impromptu Speaking. The Lunch and Learn guest speaker series will continue this week during Lunch and Learn in the auditorium. Please check Flex Time Manager for details. Calling all students. You spend all day with your teachers, but have you ever thought what it's like to actually be one? Students in grades 10 through 12 are invited to attend an informational meeting with the Rising Educators Club through St. Vincent College to explore careers in the education profession. The meeting will be held on Tuesday, March 21st during the first half of Lunch and Learn in Mr. Trenton's room, H203. Interested students should email Mr. Trenton and Mrs. Yetter to RSVP. We go to Richard Hillwick for the Wildcat Sports Report. Good morning, Wildcats. Today, the boys' tennis team has their match today against Penn Trafford at 3.30. This match is rescheduled for Monday. That's all for Wildcat Sports. Now here's Joe Clady with National Sports. Hey Wildcats, today in sports, over the weekend, your Pens shocked the hockey world when they won both their games against their two biggest rivals, the Flyers and the Rangers. Your Pens heavily defeated the Flyers by a score of 5-1 and defeated the Rangers in overtime with a goal from Chris Letang by a score of 3-2. The Pens' next two games on Thursday and Saturday will also be against the Rangers, which will likely prove to be the two biggest games of the season if they look to place top three in the Metropolitan Division. In the NFL, the Dolphins traded a third-round pick to the Rams in return for star cornerback Jalen Ramsey. In baseball, the U.S. national team heavily defeated Great Britain by a score of 6-2. That's all for sports. Back to you. Thanks, Joe. Current seniors who have been accepted to St. Vincent College are eligible for three different St. State, State Vincent scholarships, available only to Greater Lake Trobe students. Each scholarship is worth up to $3,000. The deadline to apply is March 15th. More information about this and other scholarships can be found on the Senior High Scholarship website. Attention seniors who will be attending a four-year college next year and are completing scholarship applications to assist your college tuition. The Dino Castelli Charitable Scholarship Fund applications have arrived at the guidance office. Please pick up your copy today with Ms. Hager. The deadline for completion is April 5th. In addition, many more scholarships are coming into the guidance office at this time. Please check the district scholarship page regularly. 
When doing what's on the menu today, here's Quillen Moore with What's Cooking. What's cooking, Leetrobe? Today is Crazy Dipper Day. Chicken tenders, cheese sticks, and garlic breadsticks with dipping sauce and mixed vegetables. Sandwich options today are hamburgers, cheeseburgers, and chicken patties. Pizza options are pepperoni, cheese, and sausage. In the grab-and-go bar, there are fresh salads and deli hoagies. Soup of the day is tomato basil. That's what's cooking. Thanks and back to you. Thanks, Twinlin. Seniors or juniors looking to study physics, physics education, astrophysics, or a related field are invited to attend a one-day workshop hosted by the Physics Department at St. Vincent College on Saturday, April 1st. Interested students should email Mrs. Yetter for the registration link. Our Explore is a three-day summer day camp through the University of Pittsburgh that aims to expose high school sophomores and juniors to the many and diverse opportunities of a doctor or pharmacy degree. The camp is free of charge and each day is dedicated to one of the many practices settings in which a doctor of pharmacy practices. Hands-on activities and a robust discussion of the profession of pharmacy and opportunities available will be included throughout the camp. Breakfast and lunch will be included. For more information, please contact Ms. Yetter. The 2023 Westmoreland Youth Academy is a five-day leadership development program offered June 19th through the 23rd. It is designed to introduce students to leadership concepts that provide interaction with local business, government, and community leaders. Participants should be sophomores, juniors, and seniors in September with a GPA of at least 2.5. To apply, students must complete the application and submit the requested documents before April 28th. Please email Mrs. Yetter for a link to the application. Now here is Emily Sweeney with Wildcat World News. Good morning, Latrobe. Today in World News, the U.S.'s Labor Department held a reading of the inflation report yesterday. This reading will inform the Federal Reserve on price pressures in our economy. The report states that inflation has slightly cooled since its peak last year in June, but has dramatically increased since January in 2022. Next up, Cyclone Freddy has tragically hit southern Africa with heavy rains and winds. Even before this past weekend, Freddy was already the Earth's longest-lived tropical storm. It is said that in various areas, over 100 people have died due to the storm. Along with that, 8,000 people were displaced and several million were affected. Finally, in local news, this is Sunshine Week, an annual celebration aimed at promoting open government. This celebration started in 2005 by the American Society of News Editors. Taxpayers in Pennsylvania contribute their hard-earned dollars to support public institutions ranging from school districts to municipal government, the legislature, court system, and more. That's all for world and local news. Back to you. Thanks for tuning in to this edition of WCAT-TV News. Have a great day, Latrobe. We are GL. Go Wildcats!